Hi guys. Welcome. So it is way after two today, but I had a board meeting and it ran really long because we have such a gr great group of people that um, we ended up having conversations. So right before the holidays, you got to catch up with friends, right? So I'm sorry I'm a little late. So hopefully you'll, you're still here waiting. Otherwise, you're watching the rerun. So welcome, everyone. It is Wednesday behind the scenes. I am Angela Wolf, and I'm wearing my new top now. I still have a few more things to do on here, but I have a lot of lessons for you on this top. So give me a little heart. Hey, Liz, let me know. Can you hear me okay? Hey, Jules. You guys, great to see you. Just tell me that you can hear me because you never know about technology. Hey, Susan, you made it. And you were on time and I was late. Well, I kind of warned you guys I was going to be late, but I didn't think I'd be this late. <laughs> okay, good. I see you all. Oh, great to see you guys. So... Hey, happy, uh, thanks. I'm glad you love my top. I pattern hacked the Delilah, all right. Hey, Rain. Thanks, I'm glad you like the top. Okay, if you've never been here before, I gotta just say this because if you're watching this on YouTube, you might wanna know this too. If you've never been here before, pop in, say hi. We always love to see your face and what you have to say. Say where you're from. I know where most of you are from by now, but not everybody does. There's a lot of newbies on here, so welcome all the newbies. There's thousands of people from all over the world that hang out here every Wednesday. And uh, welcome to our Wolf Pack. All right, guys. So, hey, Jude, you're still awake. Awesome. <laughs> I can see you all. All right. You got to watch this. I feel like an elf. Yeah, I think I've been watching too many cartoons with the boys, but I'm just going to show you the new top. And then you tell me what you think. It's super cute. I have on, um, no, these are not my leggings. I bought these at Kohl's, but um, I made it like a t-shirt style, a little higher on the side. I have a belt on. And look at how big, I did something different with the arms. So if you look how big the arms are, I feel like an elf. But I'm gonna tell you what I did and what I'm gonna change because I actually really like this top. It is so comfortable. So let me just drape this a little bit. So this is how it's going to be when I'm finished. I have a piece of elastic here. And I made these cuffs really long, but I didn't want them too tight. Because you guys know that I love to pull my sleeves down. It's just, it's just me. I just love to do that. I have no shoulder seam, so I'll tell you what I did there. And what I'm going to do on the inside, because I'm not going to take my shirt off, in front of you all just to sew my elastic in. <laughs> I know that gave you a good laugh, right? No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but I'm going to be attaching elastic inside up here. And that way, when this is nice and tight, here, I'll just tie this. I know all my fishing friends are on here right now saying, seriously, you didn't just say that. Yeah, no, I did just say that. Because my sewing friends would understand that, that when you're sewing by yourself, you just keep taking your clothes on and off so you could finish sewing. But I have to remember that there's a camera here. That's your laugh for the day. All right. See, I'm going to put this inside, okay? But I'm just going to leave it here now. And then look what happens. It poofs up the sleeve without having it fall down. All right. What do you think? It is super, super, super cute. Hey, thanks, Lynn. Happy birthday week. I know you. everyone's like, do you always celebrate for the whole week? Oh, absolutely. All right, I'm missing one thing. Okay, I have my line cutters here because I was sitting in the board meeting today and guess what? <laughs> there are threads everywhere. And I was thinking, where are my line cutters? I didn't have them in my purse. I usually carry them in the front of my purse. So in case you don't know how this works, I can do this all by myself now, even though it's way more fun if Wynn cuts these off. But this is this works so easy. So there's my threads. I'm just going to bring these into the cutter. Done. Done. Oh, my gosh. I have a million threads here. All right. I might be here all day, but... It works great. Now I've got hairs everywhere. 
Oh, thanks, Joyce. Okay, so officially my birthday is really tomorrow, but of course we've been celebrating all week, so who's counting, right? All right, so for the top, uh, I can see some of your comments. Lynn says, love the top. My wedding party had dresses with sleeves like that. Oh, yeah, isn't this fun? So if I have this tighter here, then I can still have this part that fits really good, and this just flounces over. Now, there's a little bit of a print on here. I don't know if you can see it. Well, it's not really a print. This is a ribbed knit. This fabric came out of my stash, and I'm going to tell you, I would never sell it to you because it was a nightmare to work with. I have a feeling I bought this in the clearance rack. Yeah. And there's a reason that it was in the clearance rack. I know. Oh, yeah, thanks. I'm wearing my earrings today. Thanks, girls. I, I didn't wear them the last two weeks. You could see them up close, but they fit perfectly. The only thing I'm missing is my Texas necklace, Jenny. It's right there. I think it would match this beautifully. <laughs> you're late, but you're here, Sandy. All right, so here's the tips on this knits. Before I get to that, though, I'm going to give you tips for knits. I have one thing to show you on this on the new Brother Machine. A couple updates. First off, mark your calendar for next Wednesday. Joe, our good friend Joe Petrelli, you guys know him from the dress forms, Dancing with the Stars. You all know Joe. I don't even need to say his last name. He's coming on next week's show, and he has something very special planned for you. He's not even telling me. I just know he's coming on the show. So mark your calendar next week, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. He will be here. That's next Wednesday. Next Tuesday, I think it's going to be at noon, but I have to confirm with Joanne. Noon Eastern Standard Time, Joanne Banco is coming on with the Sewing News Live, sponsored by Brother Show. Joanne's going to be awesome. That woman is full of tips. All right, and if you, thank you for my birthday cup, by the way. <laughs> I didn't have it yesterday because it was in the uh, dishwasher. Okay, so the other thing is if you missed yesterday's live show, I had a little glitch where my volume went out for a second because I hit the wrong button, but that was my fault. But I had Ashley Nell Tipton on the show, winner of season 14 from Project Runway, and it was a great interview. It gave you kind of a more inside scoop to to her personality. She is so cool and her clothes are awesome. So if you missed that show, pop in. And she also gave you guys a discount code to her website, which is ashleynelltipton.com. And the coupon code is birthday, capital letters, birthday 2018. She she just used the same code that I was using. So you, you guys wouldn't have to remember more. But on her website, and it does not expire until midnight, it's Sunday. Sunday at midnight, which is when all of my coupon codes expire as well. Got it? Okay, so that's the news. All right, so this fabric. Let's just talk about this fabric for a minute. This stuff is a nightmare. It's a ribbed knit, but it's not, um, I wouldn't go, the word high quality probably wouldn't come up here. I don't know why I bought it. I'm guessing... Well, these would make really great fishing tops because they're really thin, lightweight. The only issue is, <laughs> okay, I see, I'm going to tell you the issue, but I see Jude's asking almost the same question. Just a question. Does the amount of stretch in a knit affect the fit of a top or dress? Jude, great question. And that's one thing, I was, that's why I brought you up there because it's the same. This has a lot of stretch. You see this? A lot of stretch. Look what happens when you stretch it. Can you see the fabric is actually coming apart? It's, yeah, we're talking nightmare. <laughs> so in order to stay clothed with this garment on, I was very careful and I'm gonna give you some tips. If for some reason you bought the same fabric on a clearance rack or you end up getting a lightweight knit, this knit is so lightweight. It's really, it's actually see-through, see? but it's not see-through on me because I made it a big top. If it was a skin-tight top, you would be, yeah, maybe a bathing suit cover-up type thing. So yes, the amount of stretch does affect the, the drape of your top or your dress, Jude, but the other thing is the weight. So it's a combination of both. So for example, well here, I put Wes's dress on here. Hey Wes, your dress fits perfect by the way. 
I put it on my dress form that's padded out for me. It's not padded, it's just my size. So here's Wes's dress. So this is, I'm using your fabric as an example. This is a scuba wear, which has some stretch, but it's heavier. And look at the drape on it. Very different. Thank you for the dress, by the way, Wes. Now look at this. Um, hold on, I'll find a fabric here for you to look at. All right, I'm back. Don't worry. I won't talk when I'm back there because I know you won't be able to hear me. So now look at the drape of this. This is a couture jersey knit. I have this in navy and red. Um, I think this one's on the website, but look at the drape of this. So if I were to make a top, I almost made a dress out of this, but then I would only wear it like twice a year. Christmas, New Year's, and Valentine's. Well, I guess that's three times. But look at the drape of this. Unbelievable. And look at the high stretch. Because it has the high stretch, for this fabric, it has a really good give. It drapes beautifully. This is two layers, so just look at one layer. I mean, this would make a gorgeous gown if you wanted a red gown. Sweater set, anything like that. Absolutely gorgeous. But this has a very high stretch, and it has a good give. Big give. This is the one I'm sewing with right now has a very high stretch, very high, good recovery, but super thin. So you know what's going to happen with this thin fabric? This is what I'm going to show you guys. I changed my pattern hack for that fabric. So let me get my red fabric out of the way. I think, so yesterday when I gave you guys, um, showed you how it's going to pattern hack. I'm going to show you that and I'm going to show you what I changed. Because Jude, you just hit it right on the button that if the fabric has too much stretch or it has a weird hang, guess what happens to it? I'll show you guys. All right, so just let me know you can see me. All right, so originally what I showed you guys that I was going to do was the Delilah. So if that's the original pattern... Can you see that or do you want it darker? I might have a black Sharpie somewhere around here. I do. All right, I'll make it darker. So here's the Delilah. That's the original pattern, all right? So what I originally proposed was to take this out and it would kind of look like that and make it a shirt dress. That was the original, what I was talking about. But what I ended up doing with for the top I'm wearing now, so here's your pattern piece, okay? Let's say that's the front. And this is the fold of the fabric. Okay? Hold on, let me get my cup out of here. What I did is I took the back, which looks like this, and lined up the shoulder seams. All right, you see that? Is that better, you guys? It's, my top is gray. This It's kind of a gray, a dark gray. So there's the back piece. There's the front piece. This is what I did for the top I'm wearing. And then what I did first, I took this way out like this and way out like this to make it a shirt dress. For the sleeves, I just brought this over and made this a big sleeve, which you can see how big this is. Okay, so after I did that, one thing happened. Now, this is simple because you don't have that many seams. Now, I got rid of the center seam here. There's no seam right here. This is all fabric, which is why it's so full, which I love. But I did change a couple things. So once I sewed the dress like this, where it angled out a little bit, this fabric is so thin, 
I was so careful too, not to stretch the fabric. But if you can picture putting this on and having your sides like this, they were all ripply. So this fabric, instead of laying nice and flat like this, was like, well, I, I can't do it because I fixed it. <laughs> but it was awful. It was terrible. It was kind of like, I don't know how to describe it except it ugly. So I changed my mind. Plus this fabric, I'm wearing flannel tights. Yes, I live in Michigan. So I'm wearing flannel tights. But you know what happens with flannel tights? It's almost like wearing a fleece where everything sticks to it. I've got threads stuck to it. I mean, I have to keep using the delinter. So guess what this fabric did? Stuck right to it. So when I was walking around, the shirts, not only is it hanging bad on the side, it's like crunching up. So let me show you what I did to fix that. This is very simple, but just in case you want to do an extra pattern hack. So if this is my top, there's the front, there's the back. So on this design here, once I sewed it together, I just went back and sewed this area thinner. All right, so that's one seam. I just made that smaller. So on the original pattern, it went like this. So let's say this is the front, this is the back, and this is the fold of the fabric. So instead of angling this out too far, instead I just angled this down and then the next thing I did was I angled it like that like a t-shirt like a shirt bottom so I angled that out just a little bit so I had room you know for it to hang over my hips and again like that so whatever you do you want this measurement from here to here to match from here to here This is where the back, uh, this is where my shoulder seam, I ended up getting rid of this seam. And so my sleeve was more like that. And this is nothing. Does that make sense? Could I use a one inch? Let's see what that says. I'm reading your comments while I'm going through all these comments and questions. Hold on a second. Everyone on your group is looking for you. Oh, thanks, Lynn. Tell them I'm here. <laughs> uh, could we do a one-inch tilt? Oh, on the, on the camera. Okay, hold on. Here you go. Is that better? So that's the back. That's the front. This is where the original seam is, and I actually just overlapped it and made it one big, big sleeve. So see how big that is? Does that make sense? So when I was finished, my pattern actually looked like this. So I got rid of the shoulder seam completely. That's what my pattern ended up looking like. So you have to imagine that's the back. We're cutting this on the fold. That's the front. I gave myself a little notch right here just to know where the shoulder seam is. I gave myself two notches at the center back and one notch at the front just so I knew which side was the front and back. When you start sewing, it all looks the same. Does that make sense? All right. All right, hold on, guys. If, if everybody in the group doesn't know that we're here, let me just make sure that they are on the same page. I think that the video shared in there, but you never know. Get that out of there. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, Diane's wondering if she missed the start. <laughs> All right, Diane, let's tell Diane. All right, got to get the whole group out here because I was late today, so I know it's hard to follow. 
Sorry, guys. That's what you call life. Uh, life gets in the way sometimes. I have this board meeting every other month. So every other month, you know that I'm always a little bit tardy on that one. So I'll share this in the group just so you guys can make sure that you can follow. Hey, Amy, I uh, sent you a little gift today, by the way. I saw your little note uh, about your fabric. So it went out in the mail today. You'll get it and you'll see. Just have to just be patient. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm just going to share this to the group. Hold on one moment. There we go. Usually this does this automatically, but not today. Technology, right? Okay. All right, guys, let me see your questions on this top. It doesn't give you a live notification. I know. I am I am working on something to help you guys with that, by the way. Um, but I'm not going to tell you until I figure it out. I think I'm about 98% close now. Wynn's testing it for me. If Wynn can get it, you guys will all be good. And Wynn, I'm not even teasing. Wynn just isn't like he hates anything computer-wise. <laughs> okay, so Denise, when is your birthday? You have a birthday week coming up in December. She wants to sew for her birthday week. How did I do the sleeves? All right, so how did I do the sleeves? I showed you how the pattern went. Now let me show you how I sewed this because there's a couple tricks here. Again, for those of you that asked me last week, would I do something more elaborate as far as maybe do mini online classes for some of these pattern hacks? I'm on it. Those of you that don't need the extra help, this will be enough for you. So back down here. This is your pattern. This is my sleeve. So if that's my sleeve, which is this part that goes around here, you have to imagine that area needs to fit into this little area, which is my cuff. So the one thing that I did do, and I've done this on a couple of tops, I will, after I sew the, this whole entire side seam together, you'll end up with, you know, basically this section of your top that needs to fit into this little area. There, that's better. I will run a basting stitch around this entire circle. That's what I did first. Gather the basting stitch and then pin it to my cuff here. This is a two layers of cuff, just like the Delilah top. So this is exactly like the Delilah top, except this part's bigger. So once you base that, you can just gather it to this, this whole part and sew it together. Very simple. And then the other thing is, let's see. That's about all I did different on here. I might've made this a little longer than the Delilah because I just, I just um, drafted it today without using the actual cuff. So this part, you have to gather a lot to fit into that little space. And I don't think you can see Make sure I don't cut my fabric. Well, I just surged the edges. So if you look closely, you can see it's all gathered in there. You cannot just stretch. First off, you saw, if you missed the beginning of this, you can watch it, What you can watch the beginning over again. Um, you cannot just stretch this cuff to fit this. It won't work because the fabric will fray. So, let me show you what I did to sew this. And then I'll answer your questions and I will pop in tomorrow morning to answer more because believe it or not, I have another meeting I have to leave for in about six minutes. What happened to be sewing all week with no interruptions? Oh well, what do you do, right? I said to myself this morning, I got up super, super early and, that, and I have been running around ever since. So let me go down here, make sure you guys can see this. Okay, you guys all in? Hold on, close your eyes, don't get seasick for a minute. Ah, I don't want to spill my coffee. I'm drinking tea actually. Can you see that? Or are you just looking at the ground? Whoa, now you're looking at the ceiling. Everybody close their eyes for one minute, all right? Of course, this is not going to behave. There we go. Whew. I 
Anybody need Dramamine? <laughs> All right, let me find my foot pedal here. So one thing that I had to do with this fabric, let me see, make sure you can see down here. I'm going to be right here, and I'll go slow. If you look closely, this fabric tears. See how there's little runs in it? That's what it is, pa like pantyhose runs. So when I, had to, when I did my neckline or anything else, I'm using embroidery thread, which is really thin, just a rayon thread. And this is one thing that I did on the neckline of my top before I did anything. I put it to a very narrow stitch. I held my hand back here and let this just run across the edge. And what this did, you can't, can you even see the stitch? Probably not. Maybe, oh, maybe you can a little bit. Look what this did. This helps it so it doesn't stretch. Now, I'm going to want this to stretch later, but I didn't want this to fray anymore. So by top stitching or doing this little stay stitch, number one, it prevents the neckline and everything from stretching before I put the rib neckline on, my neckline. So I did this all the way around my neckline because if I don't, look what happens. The fabric stretches out of shape and starts to fray. Here, now it won't stretch. Does that make sense? All right, I'm bringing you back up here. Whoa, I'm in the really short chair. Really short chair. <laughs> I feel like, um, yes, I, this is the shortest chair ever. I'm at the big tall horn cabinet and I'm like, um, hi. <laughs> well, I told you I felt like an elf in this outfit. Now I really feel like an elf. <laughs> so by stitching that, and this is really important when you guys are working on your knits, because I stay stitched, so I stay stitched all the way around my entire neckline before I attach the rib, the ribbing. And by doing that, it kept the neckline from stretching out. Trust me, if you had this entire oval shape without any seams at the shoulders and you tried to attach that binding, it is not going to work. That's why I'm helping you with this because this could have been a hot mess, a real hot mess. So let me just see. Um, I see a couple of you. Lynn, did you say something about you wanted a sticker for your clapper? If you do, just email me. The mini clappers, I don't put stickers on anymore because the mini clappers are so tiny. But if you want it signed or something, just holler. But if you want a sticker, I'll send it to you. <laughs> All right. I'm reading a couple of your questions. Marianne says, let me check the time, make sure I'm not late. I have four minutes, guys, four minutes. But I will pop in tomorrow morning to um, go over this again and answer your questions. Send the chair to me, you're short. That's so cute. <laughs> All right, Marianne, what do you have to say? You've got a long one here. There are times that I wish I had secret second home. I could go by myself and do nothing but sew with no <laughs> interruptions. <laughs> I agree, but wait a minute. I have a, I have my she shed and I still don't get anything done. <laughs> well, you know, well, I have to, it's not like I can quit working for a whole week too, right? Although I try, you would think sewing is my business, right? But actually sewing for myself is not my business. That is a, a luxury. Let me get this higher chair so I don't feel like I'm on the ground. Okay, we're back. We're back in shape. There we go. Is that better? All right, thanks guys. Oh, so by the way, as I'm drinking out of my teacup, Jeff, if you're on here, you tell your daughter she has good taste because I picked out a new tea. And if you want a recommendation, I'll let you know. I also bought some of that throat coat that I told you guys about that is really good. It's been working. Notice I still have my voice. I have um, so much to share with you guys this week. I'm so sorry today went by so fast, but I'm going to give you the codes again. Birthday, 2018. I just received a gift from, oops, does that say birthday? If it doesn't, hopefully it does. That's what I need my glasses for, right? <laughs> I just received a gift from Kai Scissors. So what he has told me to do is randomly choose orders each day, and I'm throwing this little gift in there. So today uh, we randomly picked, as I was doing all the shipping, some orders for this 
I'll show it to you tomorrow. So if some of you are getting a surprise and it's guaranteed if you spent over $100, you definitely got it. But on the other orders, we just randomly put your names in a little basket this morning and chose. Speaking of giveaways, Daylight has a giveaway. Daylight's giveaway is giving away uh, four lights to each one person. Let's see, four people are going to win one light. Does that make sense? Four lights, travel lights and yo-yo lights, which is awesome. So if you go to my Facebook page, which you're here right now, I think I pinned it to the top. There's a contest there. There's three places you can enter. You only have to enter one to be in the contest, but you can enter all three if you want more chances. There's Instagram if you're on Instagram. Just go find the daylight giveaway post. There's a post here. And then there's also one uh, where you can just enter the usual way on the contest link. That's for all my friends that aren't on social media at all, but you can also enter there too. So three ways, we're drawing on Friday at three o'clock in the afternoon, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So just rolling through here, making sure I didn't miss anything big. I'm gonna come back and answer your questions, but tomorrow, 10 a.m. is what time I'm launching in. I'm gonna pop in, answer your questions from today. I'm going to sew the elastic in this top after I get back from my three o'clock meeting and I will show you what that looks like. And if there's any questions on this top at all, there was a little trick to the hem I can tell you about. Uh, for those of you that are really dying that you're like, I don't know how to sew knits at all, don't forget, birthday 2018 is a 20% off. It doesn't expire till Sunday at midnight for my knits class. So I'd love to see you in there. And I, I wanna see your pattern hacks. I saw one here that I have to share. Amy, I think it was yours. When I was showing you guys how to add the Kate skirt, this was really cute. Well, not the Kate skirt. She actually added the Kate skirt, I should say. Let's see. Where is it? Here we go. I'll bring this up on the screen for you guys. All right. So, oh, first off, Kay, your poor little girl that's throwing up, tell her she's a beautiful little thing. I'm, I feel so bad for her. Oh my gosh, she's precious. So Kay would be sewing. So here's a picture of the top, like the full picture. Yes, somebody wrote that I look like, um, well, I think I look like an elf, but one of you said I look like Robin Hood, <laughs> which I love that. All right, that's not one of my tops. Those are what you guys are sewing. Where are you? I know you're on here, Amy. This was Susan. Did you guys see this one? She explained how she made this. So she used some of the techniques that I've talked through talk to you guys about this dress is absolutely gorgeous so pop in there and look at that i'll find amy's top here somewhere this is jude's jude did this for the kate skirt so jude i didn't read it's a sturdy velvet best pattern ever oh i love you for that fabric custom printed that is gorgeous so jude that is really 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 cool there's Amy's. All right. Is this Amy? Yeah. So what Amy did when I was talking about doing a pattern hack, what she did is she took the Delilah and she figured out where her waist is and she just stuck the Kate skirt that fits her so well right there. Now that is a super easy way to pattern hack the Delilah into a dress. Right. So all of those are in the group. Okay, Rhonda, I'm cracking up. Did you say uh, you thought I looked like um, a warrior? Woohoo! <laughs> well, after hanging out with the boys all last week, I might be one. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I hate to leave you, but I have to go. I have a meeting at three that I cannot be late for. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Tomorrow is officially my birthday, so I'm going to join you at 10 a.m. Because after that, I'm sewing all day until I spoiled myself with the pedicure at 5 o'clock. So I'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 here on the Facebook page. You didn't miss anything this week. I have not sent any newsletters out, so don't ask if you received one. I have just been too busy. So don't forget to enter the daylight contest. And if you need anything, leave a comment. I will read all these tonight while I'm sitting on the couch with a Corona light. All right, bye you guys. Have a great day, happy sewing, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>